that this is the UNESCO site. Namely, this is a cultural heritage of humanity. I have the privilege of running at one point the director, director general post of UNESCO four years back, and where he was vice president of the board of the executive of, uh, of UNESCO in Paris, ranking uh, for, for two terms. When there was ambassador in, in Paris and when there was ambassadors in Brussels. So uh, at least this is the UNESCO side, a side of humanity. So each and every of us has the responsibility and the right to contribute to the preservation of this common heritage. That's number one. Number two, this is also very important, significant, important spiritually emotionally for particularly 10 countries member who are present at this meeting. We all know that Buddhism was born here, the Lord Buddha got enlightenment here, and it started spreading to different countries. Although now in India, Buddhism took only 1.5% of the population in terms of followers, but for the rest other 10 countries present here, Buddhism plays a very important role, if not the predominantly religion in our respective country. Therefore, for each and every of us representing our country, Buddhism holds a specific, uh, specific, uh, specific significant position spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Therefore, we also have double responsibility to contribute the preservation. My second point is that how to preserve and restore better. Of course, I thank the, uh, the uh, district manager for making a wonderful presentation, and I would like to congratulate the people, the authorities, the management for the excellent work. But there are still many room for further, uh, further uh, restorations of the work here. It's also concerning, for instance, we talked in the previous meeting about uh, you know, back, uh, baggage, uh, clean, make it cleaner. We are also talking about preserving the height around the city, uh, 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 bad, uh, construction of high rise, things like that, or how to monitor the right and the visibility of different places so no one can prevent the view of the, of the great eight hours at that time because I could not get the flight from New Delhi to Kaya. So those kind of things we could discuss. Of course, the situation now get much better. But I think it's development about, uh, we talk about convention. I'm very pleased to see, I visited this morning, I see it's fantastic. But I believe that many other can contribute about other road building, because now at, at the moment, we have only one big road going to the temple, and that big road has been blocked all the time. How about the other road? So the third point is about development. The fourth point about security. I thank uh, the um, inspector of the police and I thank the security people for making all the point. In particularly the mention of highly sensitive matter in India. We know that uh, terrorism is one of the major threat for many countries and also so for India. We don't want our quality. And uh, I am very understanding about the explanation about risking of people, I think sometimes sometime we need to sacrifice because security is more important than that minor things. So that things we can discuss, that's number four. For your one weapon and excellent arrangements, it's better to us. Uh, sorry, I would like to uh, greet myself. Yeah. Uh, I'm Titi I'm, I'm, uh, Tuiwin, uh, I'm a Minister Councilor at the Kichiro Mission from Myanmar Embassy. I'm very pleased uh, to meet Excellencies, Honorable Members of uh, both Kaya Temple as Vice People, uh, Buddhist members of India, and uh, we all presented uh, today's meeting. I have the honor to attend the meeting of both Kaya Temple Vice People today on behalf of the Ambassador of Myanmar and the Land of Enlightenment and Peace. Uh, we are is the holy land for Buddhists. Uh, including Buddhists of Myanmar that constitutes nearly 90% of its population. Uh, whenever our leaders visit to India, they never miss the opportunity to visit uh, to scale places of Buddhism in Bihar. 
prominent amendments are Bodhgaya, Varanasi, and Kushinagar. Uh, every year, thousands of Myanmar Buddhist pilgrims uh, came to, uh, come to India to visit these uh, places. Uh, Excellency Honorable Members, uh, to get this opportunity, I wish to express our uh, deepest uh, condolences for the demise of Seyaro Eka Maha Padika, Abhidaza Eka Maha Tadama Zodika, Dauda Patenda Nyaneda, who is the chief of the Bodhgaya Myanmar Monastery and the representative, former representative of the international monasteries in Bodhgaya. Uh, he passed away on uh, 7 October. Uh, last month of uh, 2021 uh, in Yangon, Myanmar. Uh, this, this is the great law. Yeah, temple management is doing an excellent job. We are aware of each, each time I visited several times now. When I was around 13 years old, I used to come with my late mom and father and visit Bodhgaya. We used to tent, we used to pitch tents in the field and we used to sleep in the tents. But now it has developed so much. But I think still we need to do because each time the number is increasing, especially in terms of sanitation. Uh, the toilets are, the third is, I think, interpreters. I think everybody wants to, when you come to a temple, you want to know what, what the temple really means. So therefore, we need to have very good interpreters. But I think uh, if we can have officially designated interpreters there, even who can speak Thai, who can speak of language with an officially designated uh, uh, card which Taj Mahal has. I think that will be really helpful. I think that, that's a suggestion that uh, I want to make. The practical recommendations and the acknowledgement. I think that his acknowledgement and words of thanks and gratitude have been have gone to all of you on perhaps on our behalf. When it comes to his recommendations, I think those are very, very practical recommendations and I urge the Secretariat of the meeting to write out and to address this in the next uh, board meeting. In, in concerning the, his first recommendation about the visit to the, uh, the site before the board, I think this is very important. Uh, listen to the presentation by the representative of, of Myanmar and other. We see that we need to go around and check and see because we have not been living here or always. So it's a good opportunity and you need to interact before we come to the board. So that is a very important. I hope that we can uh, improve the system that because Vietnam delegation also would need some miscommunication. So I suggest that perhaps the, we have the, the number here, we create a WhatsApp group of members of the board of the concern so we can discuss about that. And it should not be a one-off event in two years. We should, because this is... Board to other social institutions or cultural organizations who have great contributions the reservation and development of the Bodea Temple. Yeah, I think it's uh, quite important to, uh, to, say, to, to uh, hi highlight their contribution to the development of this Bodea uh, Temple. Yeah, and so um, I think it's very important because the pandemic is almost over and uh, everyone uh, in every country is uh, uh, open policy to um, and, uh, so uh, I would like to call all countries and uh, that's here and Indian government to have um, you know, favorable policies and programs to attack more tourists or freedom back to work area. Yeah, so for the economic side, we also uh, do our utmost to uh, reopen the life of between Vietnam and India and also bring more delegation tourists from Vietnam to Korea. So we we'll make the uh, life here, the activity here is back to normal. As uh, we have said that before, thousands, uh, uh, one hundred thousands of uh, visitors every day, but uh, at the moment I think the, uh, the quantity of people and uh, the volume of people is uh, as unexpected.
first of all, Honorable Chair, uh, had uh, informed about the financial thing, expenditures, so that should be taken care of. It's not an issue. And uh, it should be, even the minutes also, we will ensure that this would be mentioned how the expenditures are there. Normally, uh, the expenditures are governed by the Act, and we have uh, auditors also, we have chartered accountants also. BTMC doesn't get any grant from any government. So there is no government grant that BTMC gets. The entirely the revenue that we generate on its own as well as the donations. So that is the only income of the BTMC. And many times we have the donors who directly contribute to get the things done in the technical complex. So uh, especially uh, we have been very fortunate that uh, the works done uh, by the donors from the Thailand. many of the important works. So uh, that way we list out the works which are important and then we place it on our website. And the donors can approach and they can always uh, directly contribute. They can give the money also or they can get the work also done directly. BDMC is also FCRA compliant, Ministry of Home Affairs.